Hey, what's up, guys? Aaron from the Ball Pit here, back with another reaction video. I know y'all probably like, Aaron, what you been up to? Rooms messy, I've been moving. What else you been up to? Making money. You see this right here? You see, hold up. We're, we're going to focus. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I got money. Huh? What y'all know about that? Huh? What y'all know about that? Because all y'all know is it's not a lot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm tired. Y'all don't be knowing a lot. And your code name that I've given you is code mistake. Because that's what your parents said whenever you were born. They're like, damn, I knew I should have gotten that abortion back when it was still legal. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that over with. Uh, back here with another corpse reaction. This time it's code mistake with corpse and bring me the horizon. Um, let's just get straight into the reaction video. Let's let's not even let's not take the time to wait. Let's just go. Ooh, this is an interesting <laughs> uh, little visual here. That's terrifying. This everything that's happening right now is very very scary. Man, of course, talking about doing drugs right off, right off rip, right off rip. I mean, I couldn't, I can't blame him from, from everything that I've learned from reacting to corpse in the past and people telling me in the comments, cause I'd be reading them. I agree in the comments, I promise. Uh, man's pretty, um, isolating. He don't really be going outside, he don't really be talking to people that much. And if, you know, if I was like living that hermit lifestyle or whatever, man. I'd probably be using all sorts of shit too. Okay, I'm blaming him. Okay. Burn me out like cuts. Mm. Fade out when Centralia does. Nostrils off a of dust. Or like veins too many needles touch. If pain is beauty, I'm a pretty bitch. Mm. Got too quiet, now they're whispering. If pain is beauty, then I'm a pretty bitch. Shit, man. Even if beauty is just beauty, I know I'm a pretty bitch. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, baby? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my God! It's people that that don't know me. <laughs> they come to expecting a real reaction and not understanding that I'm a fucking idiot. Right. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Okay, a couple things, a couple things. So, my genetics got me tweaked. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming, because I know that Corpse um, apparently has a lot of medical problems. has a long medical history. So, I'm assuming that um, his medical history that's a bit problematic is probably genetic in nature, which would be why that's happening. Um, and then the, hold on, we need to run that last part back. This Running from myself, I can't blame them when they leave. So running from myself, I can't blame them when they leave. So he's pretty much saying that I, I'm running from my own reality. So how can I blame other people when they want to leave my reality in a sense? Um, and that makes sense. They always say, like, it's a common phrase or whatever, that... um. How can you love somebody else if you can't love yourself? And that's kind of, it's a play on that pretty common phrase um, It's being that said. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I just, uh, <laughs> I love, I love really impassioned and like genuinely angry music. So this is like, I just love it, man. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> Some 
mosh pit, think of my lost it. I'm starting to believe there's only one way I can stop it. If pain is beauty, I'm a beauty. Yeah. I swear, I've heard this is like the second time I've heard an artist call it a guillotine. I swear on my life, it's called a guillotine, bro. I, I'm so certain it's called a guillotine. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be so pissed. Because I've been saying guillotine for forever, man. There's no way it is guillotine. I stand on it. There's no way it is guillotine, bro. That has to be a regional dialect difference or something. There's no way it's guillotine, bro. I'm not tripping, I promise. It has to be guillotine, bro. It has to be. Oh my god. If it's guillotine. <laughs> let the let the gab the gab pen the gab pen. What the fuck is a gab pen? Hold on. So gabapentin is a, a medication used to treat seizures. So I guess it's like a um, a depressant in a sense because it 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 stuff came in sleep. So it like because seizures are basically caused by like a bunch of activity in the brain all at once. So it'd be like a depressant that would stop that or lower that stimulation. So there's not too much going on. I'm assuming maybe. Oh damn! At a to wake up. Omephazole to eat. I mean, you could just smoke weed. <laughs> that's what that's what like millions of people do to eat. So I feel like you could try that. I probably already have to be honest. Adderall to wake up. Result to eat. That's fair. And especially if you're using Adderall to wake up, you probably actually do need to use a real medication to be able to eat now that I think about it. Because amphetamines are also appetite suppressants, and any stimulant is actually an appetite suppressant. So um, if you take Adderall every morning, it means it's going to be harder for you to eat. And yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Oh, hold up. Oh, it's just about to be an EDM drop. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I love, I fucking love electronic dance music. If there's an EDM drop, I'm gonna go nuts. I'm gonna go nuts so crazy in this bitch right now. So, I know you guys are all going to see the look of disappointment that goes across my face. It's not that what happened was bad. It's just that I wanted, like, a true, like, club, like, house banger. Like, like, um, just, and just no, no words. Just production. Just, ba -da -ba 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 -da. we'd just be dancing in this bitch. But this is okay, too. And it, it honestly, this fits more with the song. I just really wanted, I just really wanted like a, a, a house beat to come in right there. I actually really like the setup of this, um, this uh like lyric video in a sense where it's like you have the cool artwork that coincides kind of with the um like the the image or whatever that's being presented for this song and the the lyrics are like um worked into that image that thematic um scene that's being presented in a meaningful and like interesting way instead of just kind of being like like sprawled out against the bottom of the screen like right here you know what i'm saying like where it's just like kind of cuts like that well, like so it's where it's up there is like better because it just fits more with the scene and i like it i think it's cool so shout out whoever did this artwork it might say it actually it might actually say it down here oh that's the comments i meant the description oh artwork um, 
I'll, I will also link the artwork down in the description. Um, so you can either go to the original song and um, and click it on corpses, or you can literally just scroll down on this video. I'll go in the description, and the artwork, uh, the the Instagram of the artwork will be right in there. You know, in um in a modern world that's filled with so much like AI art and everything, I, I like to take the time to recognize real artists. Sorry, AI art people. So that's the end of that video. Hold on, let me make. There you go. So that's the um, that's the end of the song. Um, my thoughts on it. I think it's it's good for what it is. Um, I probably won't be adding it to my personal playlist. Um, just because I can't really <laughs> like my personal. I basically, and I, I feel like I, I might be a bit weird for this. I basically have one playlist. Um. That, like all of my music <laughs> belongs to uh that means that i my personal playlist my favorites playlist was called it's just called my favorites um it's basically a playlist that needs to function in every avenue of my life i obviously have other playlists that i use in very specific scenarios but mostly i just listen to my favorites so it needs to be songs that i can listen to pretty much at any point and this feels pretty niche to where i would want to listen to it um so it's it's not gonna go on my playlist, but it's good for what it is. Um, you know, there's probably people out there that listen to this music kind of music all the time, or whatever else. Um, and I can see the virtue in it. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's just not something that I will um, I will listen to on a regular basis. Um, that being said, uh, that's the end of the reaction. Um, so if you're just here for the reaction, you can go. But uh, if you're new to the channel, or if you're not, you know that at the end here, um, I basically do a little Aaron rant, um, where I just talk about whatever, man. Ugh, I literally, I don't plan these at all. I just kind of come up with it. Basically, just talk about whatever, um, and just, just talk about it, man. Just talk about it. Um, what do I want to talk about? Let's talk about the 4th of July a little bit. I'm going to try my best to be a bit reserved on this because I don't want to get myself in trouble <laughs> for saying something I probably shouldn't. But the thing that's kind of, okay, so there's two things in my mind that are very synonymous with the 4th of July. One is hot dogs <laughs> and one is fireworks. And let's start with hot dogs. I'll go into them. So pretty recently, I've cut pork out of my diet entirely. Um... I've done this for a lot of reasons. Um, I've been I'm trying to cut back on my meat consumption as much as possible. Um, I don't think I'll ever truly get vegetarian or vegan. I love chicken too much. I really, really adore chicken. So I can't imagine that I end up becoming vegetarian anytime soon. But I decided I wanted to limit my meat a little bit. So I don't eat as much beef. I do occasionally eat beef, but I don't eat as much. And I've entirely cut pork out of my diet. I chose pork because pork is traditionally some of like the greasiest and kind of most disgusting of the meats. Like you're going in your sausage, your bacon, your ham, stuff like that. It's usually pretty greasy. It's usually a little gross. So I decided to cut it out. Um, and also I'm a person who appreciates um different cultures and learning about them and different religions and such and um you know two of the five biggest religions in the world being judaism and islam um 
both outlaw pork consumption because they consider eating pig to be um, a foul action you can take and that pigs in themselves are foul creatures and should not be consumed by humans. And, um, you know, when two major world religions kind of believe that, and I kind of already believe that pork's a pretty foul meat, I just kind of like, you know what? Just cut pork out, man. Uh, and it really hasn't been hard at all, um, except on the 4th of July celebrations. I was like, oh, you want a dog? Oh, you want a glizzy? Uh, nobody asked me for <laughs> asked me for a glizzy, but, uh, you know, let me throw a dog on for you. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Hot dogs are really gross. <laughs> They're really gross. Even if I didn't cut out pork, I don't really want a hot dog. So there's that. And then the second thing that's synonymous with the 4th of July is fireworks. And um, so I don't know if you guys know. I'm from the East Coast. Um, we've been hit by the wildfire smoke from Canada and everything. And pretty recently we've been in a drought. You know, it's been really dry. Uh, it's been windy. And I wouldn't be surprised if, because of the Fourth July of July, some not great events happen because of fireworks or um, firecrackers or whatever other type of legal legal or legal <laughs> explosives that um, Americans are setting off in celebration. Um, I feel like it could lead to bad times, and uh, I don't like bad times, and um, I don't think that. The reward of seeing a fireworks show is worth the potential environmental damage you can cost. Because fireworks, it's like, if you've seen them like, if you've seen fireworks three, four, five times, you don't need to see them anymore, man. Like, I'm good, bro. I'm really okay. I'm really okay. I don't need to see fireworks anymore. Really don't. Really don't. I'm fine without them. That's just my opinion on the uh, the whole 4th of July. So, uh, if it's not easy to tell, don't really care for it as a holiday. It's America's birthday. Ooh, don't really care. Don't really care. Don't really care. I'm not also not a person who uh, celebrates countries. Like, I'm, I'm an American citizen. I've lived in the United States my whole life. But I don't need to celebrate <laughs> the country itself. There's just no need. Um... And I think it's just kind of like, oh, this is going to get me in trouble, maybe. I just think it's a bit grossly nationalist to like celebrate a country. You should ce you could celebrate the people in the country, but you don't need to celebrate the country itself. Like, that's just, that's just a little too far, in my opinion. But, you know, that's just mine. If you have a different opinion, good on you. Glad you have a different opinion. Glad you can think for yourself. That's great. That's my opinion. Have yours. Um... That's it. That's all I have to say um, in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoy other content coming out. You know, like, com like, and subscribe. Um, like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and yeah, that's that's really all I got. It's I'm tired, man. I gotta be at work super early tomorrow. So, but I gotta get videos out, man. I gotta get them out. I I left you guys for too long. All right, that's it. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Love you.